this is no adware and uh, this is the first screen you see when you load it up um, the, the user interface I guess is quite basic uh, most of the options you'll find are actually under this top options tab um, but you've got a little menu here on the right um, you can actually scan files and folders individually with this software so you can if you have a particular item that you've downloaded and you know it's in a particular folder you can expressly scan just for that folder so that's a good feature uh, going through the options menu uh, the settings you can choose to run it at Windows Startup similar to the, all the other spyware programs uh, it can also scan at startup um, you may want that may not um, and save log files request confirmation before removing spyware uh, and it does automatically do a update check and install so that's a good thing you can specify where you want the log file if you go to ActiveX Shields not the, the other programs I didn't notice have a particular section for this what this actually does is you can turn on ActiveX protection and what this actually do, does is when you go to a new web page sometimes if you're using Internet Explorer you'll get a little uh, yellow bar across the top asking you to install an ActiveX control and sometimes um, these ActiveX's can be harmful to your machine so what this is is it's got a database of currently 588 items that it knows are um, ActiveX that aren't I guess proper ActiveX controls they will harm your system so you can turn that on uh, only problem is sometimes you might want to install an ActiveX control and it will automatically be blocked and you'll be sitting there on a web page wondering why it's not working um, so that's that feature you can also it calls these things shields you can configure shields um, it's just their name of, of you know saying whatever which action which section it is um, so you can protect favorites, um, host file, real-time protection. So it also does that. Uh, cookies, startup programs, and home page. Um, so there are a, a few good options there. Some of those things aren't included in other software. So I guess the name of this no adware um, can be a little off-putting. You may not think it does spyware, but it actually it does adware and spyware and malware. Uh, you can restore previous backups, so it does have a backup. It does have scheduling as well, um, and you've got scan settings as well. So you can do a, a um, like a quick scan or a full scan, which is similar to other software. Uh, and you can also say include subfolders and zip files, which I didn't know that notice that option in other software. I guess the the only thing about the user interface on this is you have to keep opening up new windows all the time which can get a little frustrating it makes the program a little bit harder or annoying to use um, but other than that it's um, it's quite a good software one of the I mean it's, it's it is one of the top recommended spyware software so I'll just run a, a scan and we'll see what this finds so the scan is complete now um, and it has found 37 registry items 40 cookies and one files um, it can show you it has a danger value here and it will show you the the registry key there um, if we scroll down a bit it's got tracking cookies uh, and spy viper so I haven't seen that before on any other program uh, it says this is um, severe and it gives you a bit of an item script description um, says known to display fake warnings in attempt to sell you a product or service so that's most of the adware that you'll um, that you'll encounter so this program scans for both of those if you've used uh, no adware before and um, you like it or don't like it then put some comments below and let everyone else um, get an idea of what you thought of it